Hello and welcome to the first video in a series of how-to tutorials for Arteco. In this first video we're going to be exploring how to install and license an Arteco server. So the first thing you're going to want to do is access your email and find the email called new product registration with your Arteco server's serial number. In this email you'll have the ability to uh, download the software right here um, and also take ownership of this product via your My Arteco. In My Arteco, to get there, you go to our website, arteco-global.com, and you go to the Support tab and License Management. And there you can register a new product, and you simply type in the serial number and the verification code, which you see in the email there, and then you'll uh, register the product under your account. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started with installing. I've already uh, downloaded the software and it's right here on, on the desktop. So you just want to double click it and uh, when it asks you to uh, per, to pick a setup language, you'll choose between English and Italian and click, and click OK. And then uh, this first page is asking us where we want to install our Teco server. Um, so by default, that goes into program files with a folder our Teco server underneath that. So um, this is the recommended path as well, so unless you're instructed to do so otherwise, uh, definitely install in this path. I'll click Next. Now in the Select uh, Components screen, we have the ability to uh, uncheck some of the boxes here for some of the Arteco features. So if we don't necessarily need failover sync or license plate recognition, we can definitely choose to uh, not install those necessarily. Um, however, I do recommend to choose full installation whenever you're installing. That way, even if you're uh, not licensed to have a feature uh, that's included in here, at least you'll have it if you decide to upgrade your license. In this next page, the paths configuration, we have the ability to, uh, to configure a storage path for where our default recordings are going to go. Um, uh, this is, by default, our Teco storage under the C drive. However, if you do have a separate drive that you want to install in, you can definitely have your recordings go into there instead. Uh, and then the configuration path, that indicates where all of your configuration files, files will go. So uh, by default, that's inside program data and in a folder called Arteco. And this is also the recommended path too, so unless you're told to do otherwise, definitely install it in there. We also have the ability to change the HTTP port and SSL port for uh, the local installation of Arteco Mobile. Uh, that's used in... Um, displaying uh, video via smartphones or web browsers. So uh, you can decide to, choose, to change those ports there or just leave them as the default and then uh, configure them externally, which is usually my, op my best option. And then uh, here we'll click Next. And on the Select Additional Task page, we have the abilities to uh, create an entry in the Start menu and create a desktop shortcut icon. Um, always good things to have. And uh, if we want to use standard measurements, we will want to keep this box checked. And then if we want to use metric, we can uncheck this box. Um, and then the startup settings, you have three different options. Uh, the, I, the best and the most ideal way to install our Teco server is uh, as a Windows service. So um, try to choose this option uh, first. And if you're not able to, you can always decide to install the software as an application only by checking the Start at Windows Startup. And in some cases, uh, maybe in a demo installation, you may decide not to start it at Windows Startup. Uh, that way you have a little more control over when the software starts when you're just starting up your PC. All right, so I'll click Next. And then in this page here, we just see an overview of what we chose in the last page of the wizard. So I'll go ahead and click Install. And now let's talk a little bit about how to uh, start the licensing process. Uh, so after the installation finishes, you'll get a file called the Arteco Server SID file. And this file is a system identification file, and, it, and we use it for licensing your, your software. And what you'll do is you'll upload it to your managed products under the screen that we were talking about earlier. And uh, after uh, about 24 hours, you'll get your license processed and uploaded here to the dashboard, and you'll be able to download it right there. So I'll click Download License and Save the File. And uh, one thing with that, too, is uh, you will get an email when it is made available. So it'll say License Availability, and it'll have your serial number there. And uh, just in case uh, you didn't already 
um, take ownership of the product or register it in your in your uh, Arteco account, you can definitely do so here with the serial number verification code. All right, so it looks like installation is finished, and I have my uh, license file. I'm going to start the Arteco console, and I'm going to show you how to license. So initially, we just want to stop all of the services so that we can get the license in there. And if I go to my downloads, I see my license is right here. And the license will look like uh, it's an executable file, just, just like the setup file. And it's called License Arteco, and it will have your serial number and the data was created. So I want to double-click that. And an installation wizard will start. So click next here. And uh, this is asking us where the destination location is. Um, and uh, again, this is going to be where you installed your Arteco server. So we know that since we chose the defaults, we're able to uh, install the license files directly into there. And that works. So I'll click next. It tells me it already exists. That's good because it should. And then uh, just gives me an install button here, so I'll just click install. And there's the license installed and ready to go. So now I will start the Arteco services again. And um, one thing you may see when you're first initially installing your license is uh, the error uh, called license not found. Um, and this you may see just when you're first initially installing only because it's first needing to read the license and recognize the file. Um, and this uh, error does generally go away after about 20, 30 seconds or so. So as we're speaking, this error uh, should go away here because we're, we definitely uh, installed the correct license. I'm almost positive of it. And then once that goes away, then you are good to go with your Arteco server. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, feel free to stay tuned to um, our YouTube channel for new videos posted about how to do things in Arteco. We have a lot of uh, videos about end user features as well um, and how to you know, search for recordings, how to uh, find events in Next, how to configure uh, zones for violated area, things like that. So uh, stay tuned and thanks again. Bye-bye.